Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to import devices to autopilot using a CSV file with a group tag field. So group tag field is important in a scenario where we have different autopilot profiles. So for example, you could have different autopilot profiles and adding devices to different OUs based on region, department. So you can have those group tags added to the imported devices based on different regions or different departments and different autopilot profiles deployed to those devices so that they get into particular OU or you want to install particular applications on those devices for those particular region or department. Once you have the group tag added to those devices, you can add them to Azure AD groups, a dynamic Azure AD groups based on the group tags and use those Azure AD groups to deploy the autopilot profile, applications and settings. For example, you have these devices, you can update the group tag by clicking on any of the device and putting the group tag here. But let's say you already have uh, more than hundreds and thousands of devices you want to update the group tag or you imported the devices with an incorrect group, group tag and want to modify them. So how would you do that programmatically? So I will also show you that. So the first demo is how to add the group tag while importing a device. So normally OEMs or vendors upload the device IDs using their partner portal and you can ask them to add the group tag to those devices but in some cases you might get the CSV files. So for example I have this CSV file which I got from vendor and I have device serial number in it and hardware hash. The windows product ID and the order ID field are blank. So this order ID field is actually the group tag field so let me import it with a group tag called temp gt1 so my group tag for this imported device with this serial number would be temp gt1 so let me save this so i have saved that file and i will import it in intune so this is the file now i'm going to import it it will take some time so i'm going to pause the video once the device get added i should see it here so while the device is getting imported, let me show you the query we will use in an Azure AD dynamic group to update the group with the group tag so that all the machines with the particular group tag gets added to this particular Azure AD group called test dynamic. So I have this group created already and I went to dynamic membership rules instead of test dev lab, which was a group tag which I used earlier. I will use the one which I added to the Excel file. So my device which is now getting imported in Intune has this uh, group tag and it should also get updated in this Azure AD group. So our device has been imported and we could see the group tag next to it. Let's go to our group which we created with the dynamic membership rule to include all the devices with this uh, group tag. Azure AD group has been updated, the dynamic AD group and we could see the device here. Now there is a requirement you want to change the group tag so you can go in the property here and change the group tag to something else and save it but what if you want to change it for many devices you can't do it manually one by one so how would you do that so let me show you a way on how to do that using powershell in order to use powershell for intune we need to install this module called microsoft graph intune so there is the URL from which you could follow the steps and download this module. So you will go to the releases tab and will download the zip file. Once the zip file has been downloaded, extract it, go into this folder, drop outputs, build release. So I have already downloaded the SDK, let me show you. So here are the two folders. First of all, you need to unblock all the DLLs in it. So once you right click on the DLL here, you will see an option to unblock which I have already done so that's why it's not showing me. Then in the PowerShell prompt you will have to open it as a administrator and browse to this location. After you do that you will have to run this command import module and specify microsoft.grab.intune.psd1. I have already done this so that's why I did not get any prompt. Then you will have to provide the admin consent which will ask you to open a browser and enter this code. So now we have provided the admin consent as well. Then you can connect to MS Graph. Now the next steps we will do in the PowerShell ISE 
and I will show you a script on how to update the group tag so here is the script where first of all I am connecting to MS graph and then I have a file which I am creating in C Windows 10 folder with the serial numbers in my C Windows folder I have this file where I have uh, added few serial numbers so, so the idea here is to look for serial numbers in that file and if it founds that serial number and founds that device in Intune it will update the group tag for it so one of the use case for it would be that uh, you have let's say four to five hundred serial numbers for which you want to change the group tag so you can paste them in that uh, notepad file and use this uh, script to update the group tag for those devices or add new group tag so this command is actually pulling all the devices which are there in my autopilot currently registered in this variable I am checking for each device and I am matching the serial number so once it's uh, matched I will update the group tag so here I will specify the new group tag I will name it as new GT1 and you will invoke the MS graph uh, request with the HTTP post method to update the device property with the new autopilot device ID to update the device property with the new group tag so if I run this command now let's see what happens it is connecting to MS graph and ask me to log in I have logged in to my Intune portal so the script has ran and we could see that it's looking for each autopilot device and matching that device serial number with the serial number I have in the txt file so for my first autopilot device it looked and tried to match the serial numbers it did not match so one of the device in my autopilot had the serial number of PC OSU6004 where it tried and matched it to the autopilot's device ID and there the match was successful and it's updating the group tag for it so now we will initiate a sync here and we'll wait for a few minutes for the group tag to be updated in this script I have used a serial number as one of the criteria to search and update the group tag you could use any other column as well make model or anything else which Intune gives you so the sync has been completed now and the new group tag has been updated so if you have Azure AD group with the dynamic membership of this group tag it will get updated you can get the policies applied to it based on the group tag I hope you like this uh, video please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video bye bye